Uh, let's get ready to get our Bitmoji on! That's right, this tutorial is all about linking your images or your items in your classroom to a URL, to a video, to a document or a file, or another slide in your slideshow. So the first thing you wanna do is find the object that you want to add a link to. I'm gonna use my flag. So I click on it and there you have the box that shows up around your flag. You can move it a little bit, you can change it however you want to make it in that specific spot you want your students to click on. Then come up here to the paperclip. This bad boy right here is the key to your hyperlinking dreams. Click on it and it'll take you to this screen where you can paste a link or do a search or link to slides in this presentation. I know that my Pledge of Allegiance is on slide number two, so I wanna link to that slide. So how do you do that? Let's go back. Again, step one, click on where you want that link to show up. When your students click on it, come back up to, yep, you got it, the paper clip, click on it. And it brings you again back to this page. Click on slides in this presentation. And again, I know I wanna to link to slide number two. Click it, and there you have it. It's linked, but wait, you gotta click apply. I also don't want my text to say slide number two. I know I already wrote the pledge in there, so I'm just gonna delete that because the pledge is already written in there and I'm going to click apply. What happens now is it comes up with the slide number. So I just wanna make sure that I edit and delete that and go back and write the pledge. But of course, what's gonna happen is this is where it's linked to. So I'm gonna get rid of what I had already typed in there. And you'll notice also that it goes back to the format of my theme, which is this bluish color, and it's also underlined. So I'm gonna change that to the color I want of the text, which is black, as that goes with the rest of my theme, except for the bus routes, but nobody's looking at that. And I don't wanna underline it. I wanna keep it universal with how the rest of my links look. Click off of it, and there you have it. Once I click on it, the students will click on it and I'll take them directly to slide two. So how does this look when we present? Thank you for asking, let's take a look. Click on the pledge, bam, bada bing, bada boom. There you have it. So what if you wanna link to a document or a file? Let's give that a shot. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlink this and I'm gonna go into, you got it, the paper clip. Click on that paper clip and I wanna find the URL of where I wanna go. So if I type a search in of the Pledge of Allegiance, I know I already have a document that I created and it's right here in my Google Drive. I can just click that bad boy and it'll populate. Or if I wanna use a URL from a website, I can click that as well. But what I wanna show you also is I wanna show you how to paste a link. So we're gonna come up here to my Google Doc, which is my Pledge of Allegiance document. I'm going to click Share. Now here's an extra tip for you. You wanna make sure that anyone on the internet can view. This is very, very important. If I go to change it, you have a couple options in the dropdown. You can have Commenter or Editor. If you click Editor, what that basically means is anybody with the link can edit your document. That means that they are going to mess with your template and every time somebody clicks in it and hits enter or type something, it'll change your whole template. So if you don't want anybody to change what you've written, viewer is your option that will save you from any edits being made by people that are logging into it. So click copy link, click done, and then we're gonna come back to our slideshow. Again, yup, click on your flag. Notice the box goes around it. Come back up to your paper clip and let's paste that link that we just copied. And I am gonna write my text in here, the pledge, and click apply. Again, just like it did with the slide that you connected, 
it gives you a link. So I need that link in order to have it connect to my Google document. But again, notice it shows up in the same theme of what I had set up for my homepage. So I'm gonna change it to black and stop the underline. And there you have it. So let's see how that looks. So instead of linking to another slide in my slideshow, this is going to link to a Google document. So I click it and there we go. You've got the bada and you've got the bing and there it is. And also what I did in here, this is why I wanted to link to this particular document is because now they can listen to it as well as follow along with the text. Or I also put it in Spanish for my Spanish speaking students to have it for them as well. So come back to your classroom. And that's it. That's how you link to a URL a document or a file or another slide in your slideshow.